Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a, a flywheel. Uh, this is going to be for a Sterling engine. So we're going to get started here. Um, first, uh, what you want to do is just uh, click on the front plane, uh, do a create sketch. And you want to make two center lines. One, you want to make it uh, horizontal, and you want to make another one vertical. So let me make those two center lines first, and we'll get started here. There we go. Uh, okay, got my center line. I uh, just click select, get help. And now uh, you want to create some feature. It doesn't matter where, where or how you create the create it. Uh, you just want to create lines somewhere. Uh, we're going to dimension it anyway, so doesn't really matter how you dimension it or how you how long the lines are for now uh, here 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 that's all you want to do but now you see in order for you to create a revolve feature uh, you need everything to be closed and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna do a a mirror do a mirror entity I'm just gonna highlight everything here Making sure everything is highlighted. Okay, uh, everything is highlighted on here. You see all the lines have showed up here now. Now you want to click this mirror about, and you want to mirror about uh, the center line. See this yellow line again. Now you click the green check mark, and now it's a closed entity. Now we're gonna now we're ready to start a, the the flywheel. Now what you want to do is click on your smart dimension. We're going to start dimensioning everything here. Uh, what you want to do here uh, first is I want um, here. OK, you see here, uh, if you go above the center line, you get a radius. You go below the center line, you get a a, a, a diameter. You want to make sure you're below the, the the center line, and you want to make this 80 millimeters. Let me just change this really quick. That way you can see it better. There you go. You see how this changed to see it better. Now you want to do this dimension to the center line. Uh, you want that to be. Uh, 5.5. Now, what we're going to do is this dimension. We're going to dimension here to the center line. You want to make this uh, 20. Now we're going to dimension it from here to the center line. And again, you wanted the diameter for this, not the radius. There we go. Now, what you want to do here is dimension this you want this to be four and then we're gonna make uh, this eight uh, 89 okay um, you see how this is still blue uh, and it's still underdefined here so we have to get this defined how you want to do that is instead of dimensioning here again just want to click on uh, this one first and then you want to hold down the control and click on this line over here you see this button as that says collinear you want to click on that and it will make everything uh, all lined up see how I shifted and now everything's lined up okay now we are ready to start our flywheel just want to click um, I'm going to go to the features. There's the revolve base here. Click on revolve base. The axis of revolution. You want to zoom in a little. Make sure you get this center line, not this. You want this center line. See how you have this this uh, circle now? That. Click uh, OK. Now you have your now you have your flywheel. And in the next uh, video, I will show you how to make the features for, 
for the flywheel.